it's a double tip here, there, and down here on the beach. And so now, uh, Ayn Rand gets to choose whoever she wants to be. To me, she's Alicia Rosenbaum or, or whatnot. But uh, enemies, we got to move on a little quicker here. Uh, I want to get to the uh, next. Oh, great German is playing James Taggart. Remember, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. That's how the first chapter started out about the planes. Glenn Seaborg is the inventor of, the, of discovering the uranium atom and so forth. He heads the Energy Commission. He drops it into the ground. And when people want to tell much going on, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. He was eventually fired, but the, the heart was done to the nuclear industry. But the one I want to get to right now, um, and again, Elvin El Weinberg. Here's a gentleman playing him. I can't pronounce the name. Um, but the key thing is, I'm going to get by this, because I want to get to the next part. Because here's again how she's being described. But what I want to get to is uh, um, this right here. What the time? I know my father always, uh, he, he always been walking here and there. This is six minutes, so we'll make it available if you want to leave it. Can you turn the volume on? Uh, uh, I several grades through high school, so that when I graduated high school, I had just turned 16. And yes, well, uh, that uh, uh, being only uh, only 16, uh, uh, that meant you were perhaps at least uh, one or two, two years. Uh, yeah, younger than the other. Younger than yeah. the others. Uh, well, I imagine. Well, then uh, the depression hit just when I graduated from high school. You can find 16 check mark. One. And I um, entered the University of Chicago. Had to work so part time jobs because he was penniless. I did get scholarships after one year at the University of Chicago. Physics and philosophy. And, uh, well, it's pretty rough. Loaded them up pretty heavy. But they were the top performers. Find places where you could get a nice Three extraordinary intelligent classmates. Uh, then I came to the University of Chicago. John Galt's two classmates would go on to win Nobel Prizes. So called New Plan for Robert Hutchinson was first. Got the highest grades. And I must say that that was. Now, here it says, I work in a railroad brownhouse, and Raygard, no Miss Taggart, Raygard was not. How do you characterize it? And he was a clerk in the University of Chicago. Yeah. Their idea was that Cole didn't you work in the rock house. to Nuclear all dome. branches of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So I put a partial so, check mark there. I did have uh, uh, intended to be an inventor. Uh, 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 but I did you have so much stuff to buy for you had the autonomy. And also, I became an NYA. Let me go to the next page. Um, one thing that always baffled me was where it says he left, he disappeared at age 12. And then showed up at college 16. I ran, left Chicago, stepped on that train as he was turning 12. And he would disappear to her until she learned more about him later. That's conjecture on my part. But that's, that to me is the 12 year old. But uh, for say Crossroads of Ohio, well, it's Crossroads of uh, Chicago, because uh, robes weren't around uh, very good in, uh, in uh, teens. Uh, finally, after the shrug, Paul became engineer uh, here. Um, he invented this at age 27. And in, in movie two, you see this. And here he talks about so this part, what he did, I, but it's 1942 I, light water reactor. And he was 27. I, 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 so I give a check mark to that. So uh, Rick hit with that. Then we have the, uh, the, the, the classmates. And here's the, the, the ones that are similar. He just, he, he's off a year because he was turning 17 when they talked 16, but he was really young. And we go through that. I call that a direct hit. 